Watch the tick tack. Three, two, one. Just like that, the tic tac melts straight back inside the box. Watch closely. Inside this box, I have two tic tacs. If I open up the box, I'm gonna pour one of those tic tacs out and leave the other one inside the box. Now pay close attention. Watch the box. Watch the tic tac. Three, two, one. Just like that, the tic tac melts straight back inside the box. If you want to learn how to do this effect at home right now, then just keep watching the video. Seven years ago, I originally created this trick. I call it Osiris and shared the video online. In fact, here is that video right now. All right, there's two ways to get the Tic Tacs back in the box. The boring way or the fun way. <laughs> Not long after, for a short period of time, I gave this away as a free download on a magic website. And in all those years since, it's probably in the top three tricks that people perform of mine that they tag me in on social media. And quite a few people have actually released this trick as their own product and put their name on it when it's not. But for the very first time in seven years, you're gonna learn it from myself, the official creator of the trick. So for those of you that have already seen this over the years and know how it works, please be respectful of those that are watching this for the very first time today. You don't need to comment saying, this didn't fool me, I'm not fool. It's 2023, dude. You do not need to announce to everybody just how much smarter than the rest of the world you are. We get it, we bask in your infinite wisdom. And if you want a round of applause, here it is. You're a genius. With that being said and done, if you guys would like to win the actual gimmick that I'm going to build in today's video, then I need you to do me a favour. I want you to comment down below and suggest to me what trick I should specifically create for next Tutorial Tuesday's video. The highest voted comment will be picked and I will attempt to create that trick next Tuesday. You just need to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and hit the like button too to be in with a chance of winning. So let's go and build the gimmick and I'll just say this. Remember that feeling you had if you were fooled at the beginning of the trick, because once you know the secret, you will not be able to unknow the secret and it will never fool you again. But just remember that feeling of how fooled you were because that's how other people feel when you will perform this for them. Let's go. The first thing you're gonna do is empty out your Tic Tac box. Now, take an extremely sharp blade Carefully cut around the edges of the box and the label. Now take a small piece of double stick tape, apply it to the back of the label. Now take the lid, place it back inside, and simply stick the label back into position. And that is your gimmick. Now that you have your gimmick and you know the secret, you will never be able to be fooled by this again because you can't unknow the secret. But what I can teach you is how to perform it and fool everybody else. So, as you've just learned, the gimmick is this hollow case that has the same sticker in the front. And the reason this trick works and the reason why it's so fooling is because because you can see through the hollowness to the shiny side of the back part of the case, it fools your eyes in conjunction with the front part of the sticker to make you feel like the front of the case is there. Couple that with the audible illusion that it sounds like there's Tic Tacs rattling against all four walls plus the fact that they don't fall out of the box makes you think that they're bashing against that wall, it all comes together to create this incredible illusion which sort of has your mind filling in blanks that don't exist to tell you that the box is solid, okay? The reason how you can shake this or the way you shake this is by actually tilting it back like this so that the Tic Tac shoot up and down on this plane instead of up and out, okay? But it just looks like you're just naturally holding it. If you were to hold a tic-tac box, most people would naturally 
hold it at an angle. So if I shake from the side, you'll actually see that they slide back and forth on this plane. The other thing which is important to note is that I shake quite hard and that is I want them to very quickly shake up past the sticker because that stops them from repelling outward. So I actually want them to go up as high as they can into the box of Tic Tacs because it forces them to come back down at the same plane. So instead of just shaking them a small amount and having them rattle here, I actually really want them to go high up into the box and not get stuck. <laughs> so one more time. I want them to, to shake quite high into the box. Now all I do is pour them into my hand and all I'm doing is I tilt back and I open it. And again, on, on this same angle back is where I tilt and pour them into my hand. So I'm gonna pour them like that but not with the box facing forward, otherwise one would fall out. Again, I keep it tilted back as I leave one in and close the lid to seal it shut. I then reposition into my right hand and my left hand. And if you, you don't wanna grip it here, this is not good. Don't grip it with your thumb at the bottom because your hand wants to tilt forward. So if you shake it, you'll naturally tip it forward. But with your fingers at the bottom and your thumb at the top, now when you shake, naturally your hand is backwards and it's really easy to not drop the tic-tac. And now it's just practicing your aim to get it in. But one tip is that I like to have the tic-tac in this corner furthest to me so that I can shoot into this corner so we can rattle around as opposed to just bouncing off the back wall. So I'm aiming for this corner. The second thing is I don't just want to throw it directly in. I want to throw it from the side so they can actually see this tic-tac travel across the air and in. So it's not like it just disappears quickly and appears. They can see it's the actual same tic-tac. So also I tilt this back to make a bigger surface area for this to land in, okay? So it's not just this plane, but it's also this plane has got distance to move in. So if, if it all goes correctly, I can just throw it into the tic-tac box. Now all that's left to do is shake it up and down to prove that it's in there. And if you want to, you can, you can cover it to be careful, open it up and tip them out into someone's hand. If you want to be ultra careful, I'll use this to demonstrate and I'll make sure this one's filled so you can see the difference. But you can get a duplicate pack of Tic Tacs with just two in there to match or, or one and place this in your pocket. And now you can execute a really convincing switch, which is to open this up once you've finished. Tip one back out into your hand, sort of completing the image, close it up, offer it to someone. And as you do this, it sounds silly, but this is more natural because people genuinely do this. This is more natural than trying to do some complicated switch. Go to offer it and accidentally drop it on the floor, right? As you drop it and you naturally, everyone's gonna move to go forward and pick it up. Your hand comes down to your side as you're reaching, obviously don't drop the other one. As you're reaching down to pick up the one off the floor, you can naturally switch to the packet that only has one Tic Tac in it and it'll, it looks like to them nothing's changed, the image hasn't changed. You could pick the one up the floor, say sorry, we'll place this away. You can have the one that's left, and now this can be fully examined. If you enjoy my weekly tutorial Tuesdays, but you can't get enough of them, then I do have a membership available where you can go over, support me, and it's where I teach the stuff that is just too good for YouTube. It's the best material I have. It's the stuff that I don't want to share with everybody out in the public. You can sign up through Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash Lloyd B, or you can sign up through YouTube memberships. I post the same content on both pages, and it's just for those of you that want to get extra tutorials and you want to learn my A-class material. So until next week, folks, if you want to go on a bit of a Tic Tac binge, then I suggest you watch this video here, which is probably my favorite Tic Tac creation. I think it went under the radar because I posted it when I didn't have many subscribers. And if you like that one, then you'll probably love this one because it's ultra, ultra visual. Until next time, so until next time, folks, I will see you very, very soon. Peace.